are lost. Oh, there's a golfer. I think we found it. I think we found it. Well, geez, man, that was not, not the, you know, that was not very intuitive. How are we supposed, there were so many different roads and all of them said Gillette Ridge. Here we go, look at that, finally. Hi guys, it's Chris with CT Golf Reviews and we just got to Gillette Ridge after driving around the property for like 10 minutes because there's no signs that tell you how to get here. So let's go out and play. But no, for real guys, what's up? I'm Chris with CT Golf Reviews and we are playing Gillette Ridge in, this is considered Bloomfield, right? In Bloomfield, Connecticut today. It's a gorgeous day out, it's not raining. I'm here with my buddy Lawson. So let's get out there and play. I've been doing golf course reviews since late 2020, and let me tell you something. When I go onto a course and I see signs all over the place that say voted best golf course in the state of Connecticut for 2021, it's going to affect how I judge the course. And let me tell you, Gillette Ridge did not disappoint at all. Gillette Ridge is a public golf course in Bloomfield, Connecticut. It's an 18 hole course. And let me tell you something, you better bring your game because it's going to be tricky. This course was designed by Arnold Palmer, one of the greatest golfers of all time and the creator of one of my favorite drinks. So I knew when I found that out, I was in for something special. Now Gillette is a tribute to the great traditions and challenges of golf. As you go through the course, you're going to be awed by its beauty and its layout. It's a masterpiece, guys. And it's going to test every one of your playing skills. It's going to test your putting, your irons, your short game, your bunkers, your driving, your shot positioning, everything. You're going to use every club in your bag. Now, Arnold Palmer designed this course within the land, so it's all natural. The hills, the water, the trees that are on the course, all natural. Now, without giving too much away, we're going to get into the review because I have a feeling you guys are going to like this one. And yes, I do recommend you guys go and play around at Gillette Ridge in Bloomfield. You're not going to regret it. I really feel like I should have been filming all of this, but it took us like five minutes just to get to the first tee. The signage here sucks. Like, if, if you've never been here before, uh, buy a GPS because there's nothing telling you how to get anywhere. Like, we had a hard time getting into the parking lot to even find the pro shop. And then we had to drive all around the place and probably over property that's not part of the course just to get to the first hole. I just hope the round is really good though, because I mean, hey, I mean, I, I got my logo ball, so there's that. Two, right? Going to get my balls washed. <laughs> um, and Lawson's like, you might want to bring your camera. So let's see how dirty these are. There's no towel. Oh, bone dry. There's nothing in there. ones are overrated. <laughs> I personally don't like them. I'm down. Put it in the grass. Hey, you too. Get your camera, yep. Yeah. How many holes do you think it'll take before I find a fairway today? I think five. By the sixth hole, I'll find a fairway. I think I overshot that. Oh, wow. 
Yeah. These greens are like really like not flat. That could be good or bad. Good thing. Oh. Nope. Hold on. It can come back. Wow. Okay. I'm on the green in regulation. Bogey. Bogeys are okay. Both. Alright, we're even. You and I both. We're both one up. Go. Okay. Hey, look, we're going through a tunnel. Oh, thank God for some shade. Quick, honestly. hold your breath. <sighs> hold two. Look at this, dude. Pebble Beach Drive. We're now like in, in a neighborhood. That'll, that'll play. Hit the ground first. Roll it back. Roll it back. Roll back. Oh, oh, it's in the fairway. Okay. That's in the fairway. I'll take it. Horrible drive, but I'll take it. Yeah, driver off the deck. Second hole in, dude. Well, that was a nice ball. That'll be a, a that'll be in the you'll be in the bunker. But bunker. Yep. Know you're gonna be in the woods. Man, what why the? Is f that woods seems out of it's. I'm putting that. Oh, look at that! Hey, it actually worked out. I'm on the green in like nine, but it worked out. Nice putt, Lawson. Nice putt, Lawson. Right. Horrible. Yo! Oh, you gotta be kidding me, dude. Rim job. Shut up. There you go. Yeah. Okay. It's looking pretty good. Get on there. It's dry, baby. It's dry. That was a drive. good freaking shot. That was a great shot. I will take it. There we go. There we go. There we go. Get it. Woo! Bad fish. Bad fish. That's a bogey. Looking good. Looking really good. Holy shit. Oh, I wish I could do that. You guys are good, huh? All right, yeah, good cards, man. Oh, you downhill line. I'm not even gonna lie, I dropped the ball here. Mine's in the woods somewhere, but I'm also trying Lawson's uh, Callaway Five Hybrid. This is the first time I've ever swung a hybrid, so if it sucks, it's his fault. <laughs> It's 
Great club. Of Tunnel! All right, so now we are about halfway done. We're heading to the ninth hole. Hey guys, check this out. It's Gillette Henge. So we're halfway done with the round. We're on 10. I'm trying to preserve battery and film time, so I didn't film all of the holes. But I found out that this course was actually built by Arnold Palmer in the land so there was like really not any excavating but like he kind of like built it within these hills so it's all natural which is pretty cool this is going to be a very high ranking course i'm going to say that right now i don't know exactly where it's going to place on my list but it's pretty high ranking so uh let's get on to the back nine and then do the review try and lost his driver I was going to go not, uh, five iron, but we'll see what happens. Oh, you could not have hit that better. Yo, Taker's fired. Look at that curve, baby. Taker's fired. Dude, I want you, could this be, one now. you could be on the green. Dude, that was great. That was great. I want that one now. Taker, you're fired. Out of the day. Well, you didn't skull it, you just went the wrong way. You had, you had a good shot. No, I can chip that. I think I can 56. I absolutely decimated that second shot, and it eliminates any chance of, like, par. But if I do happen to save par, um, if I, if I manage to make par on this hole, I will give one of you lucky viewers a three-pack of Pro V1s. If I make par. So we're approaching the ball. It's over here. It's there. The green is there. Let's see if a miracle happens. Going? Oh, okay. Well, so much for making par. I went in the road, so I'm going to drop it here. I wish I could have done that before. I think out of all of the par threes, this is the nicest looking one on the course. I don't think the camera, well, the camera never does it justice, but this looks really nice. For the record, I wish the ball washers had actual washer fluid and stuff in there, like soap and maybe a little bit of water. They're all bone dry. Oh, no. Plunk. Let me show you how it's done. Not really. Hey, boss. 
Wilson. Kerplunk. God damn it. There we go. That's, That's looking good. good. This bunker has definitely seen better days. That really sucks. I'm going driver off the deck and I'm just aiming for those trees because I don't know where the hole is. Bombs away. That might have actually worked out better than I thought. I'm going to put it right over there. Exactly where I wanted that to go. Why can't I do that every time, huh? Bad geese. Bad geese. This course is so hilly, guys. But it's so nice. Okay. That's up there. Is that on? I overshot it, didn't I? I'm short of it? Jesus, dude. <laughs> this course is hard. I'm gonna be safe and chip it with a seven. Oh, it went too far. Damn it, it went too far. I will gladly put a snowman on this hole. One of the hardest holes I've ever had on this. I'm not even lying when I say that. Yep. They said the only way, the only way that these guys will subscribe is if I let them do this. <laughs> subscribe. Like the video. Yeah. Do what that. Do what that guy just did. Leave and said. Too. Yeah. Tell me how little good that was. Yeah. <laughs> Drivable par four here, by the way, guys. This is gonna be fun. Oh, dude, holy shit, dude. I don't know. I don't know. That was that was right towards it though. Alright. Did I just drive the green? Wait a minute. Oh my god, I just drove the green. I just drove the damn green. You've got to be kidding me. I've never done that before. Let's go. Guys, check this out. Dude, I rolled back. My pitch mark is here. I rolled back. I'm literally putting for eagle right now. Look at this. I'm not even going to cut it, just in case it goes in. I'm not going to cut it. And yes, I will fix, fix oh, that. There's fix. Mine in the fucking pool, Here we go. Ready? No, but that's a birdie putt. Hold on. I'm taking the flag out too. I'm not messing around right now. Let's go! That's right, Rockstar. That's still, still a par. That's still a par. They did it. I, I was going to do it, too. That was, without question, the best hole I've ever played on this channel, and I don't think anything is going to top that. No. No, I don't think anything is going to top that, actually, because now that I'm thinking about it, yeah, I get close with a par 3. That's still a par 3, which equals a birdie. I just drove a par 4 and almost got an eagle. I will take it every day of the week, twice on Sunday. Today's Sunday. Let's do it again. 
Of course I'm not filming. I'm telling you guys, it's a freaking curse on this channel. Uh, look at where I am. I'm on the green, like right next to the pin. I drove the ball, and Lawson can like vouch for this, over these trees, right to there. Thought I had a horrible shot with my pitching wedge, and it ends up over there on the green. Uh, I am in contention again for birdie. I have never gotten two birdies in one game. I've never gotten two birdies in a row. I'm not lying. Tell me when I'm telling lies. So, this is great. Well, I mean, I do for a living, technically. This is great, guys. I, what the hell's going on here? Always fix your pitch marks, people. I'm in contention for birdie. I'm taking the pin out. Here we go. No way. Wow. Two birdies. Two birdies. Two birdies in a row. Yeah. Let's go. That's right, Rockstar. My favorite part three so far, I think. The way it looks. <laughs> There's your crispy shot. Oh, it's all right. No, it's gonna bounce off that hill. Give me a good bounce. Give me a good bounce. That's a good. Woo! That was crispy. That was just the way I like my bacon. Crispy. Oh, yeah. I unfortunately am out of contention for birdie. No, you're not. It's birdie bird. I mean, it's not going to be easy. You've got to be kidding. Nope. Nope. All right. That's still, that's still par ish. No. I don't know. Booger. Boogers. Boogers. You might want to grab that iron they, that they left there. There you go. I'll take it. That's a risk. It is raining, by the way, guys. Raining. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. Look at that. I wish I could do that. I'll try that. Oh, give, me a try. give me a try. You do do it. Yeah, it was way too hard, though. Too hard. That's the bunker. Try it again. Yo, oh, look at that. Dude, that thing. Stop. I'll take one putt. Well, guys, it's officially raining, and uh, it's made it a lot more interesting. I can tell you that. Oh, 400 yard par four. Jeez, dude. Uh, but we are on the last hole. The, the course is great. I'm going to tell you, this is going to be a good review. I have a really good feeling about this. I don't have the final score yet because I'm still thinking about certain things, but. It's going to be a good review, and I think the course itself is going to be very happy. Here's Lawson. Uh, yeah, shout out to Lawson again. He's going to shout be in a lot. Me. He's going to be in a lot more videos, dude. I'm telling you. Hope so. And uh, shout out to these guys. So, all right, 18th hole. Let's get out there and uh, let's finish this round, shall we? It's raining, and I'm okay with it because honestly, guys, this has been a great round, and I'm not even lying. What's he doing back? Not even lying when I say it's been a really good round. I'm very happy with how I played. But we're just waiting for these guys to, to go. Here, watch this. Okay? 
Uh, no, you know what? I'm not going to do a magic trick with a, with a uh, ball. I'm going to do one with a T. Actually, here, I got a T right here. Look, see? Like this. Take the T. Watch, you go like this. You go. Like that, see? And then you could actually take the T and make it completely disappear like that, and it comes right back. You see that? Now, look, if I were to take it like this. Like that. Now, I'd probably flash that one, but yeah, you know, simple things that you can do. Go follow me at Chris Langle Magic on TikTok. Available for parties. And, and you know, I, it's my channel. I can give myself a plug. I do golf tournaments. I do close-up magic at golf tournaments. If you need me, give me a call. Look at this, guys. This is the only bad fairway that I have seen this entire round. And I could only assume it's because it's like out in the sun. Otherwise, these fairways have been pristine. Oh, okay. That ain't gonna be a par. Probably a bogey, but not a par. That's okay though. And just like that, that ends the round here at Gillette Ridge in, we're in Bloomfield. This is Bloomfield. I always thought it was in Hartford, but it's in Bloomfield. Gillette Ridge in Bloomfield, great round. I probably played the best round I've ever had. Let's get back and do that review where it's nice and dry. Nine point one. Yeah, we're gonna talk about it. And I never, I never thought that I would ever find a course that would be in the nines. You guys know how I rate my courses. I will never give away a perfect ten. And if you're gonna be a nine, you've got to be damn good. And there were things that I had to consider when I was thinking about this rating because I'll be honest with you, I did not have a rating by the time I left the course. I didn't have a rating the night I got home. I didn't have a rating this morning. It's now the day after, but I thought about it and I, what can I say? You know, when I do these golf course reviews, I'm very open-minded about things. I take the good and the bad and I combine them together and I outweigh everything. And I look at, I look at certain things that people have said and I look at things that I observe. And I don't try to take what people say uh, as a influence on my rating. I don't do that, okay? I also don't look up the course ahead of time unless it's a course with multiple property or mo a property with multiple courses. So that way I could call ahead and let them know, hey, I'm doing a review. Otherwise, I don't tell people I'm doing a review, all right? But if I want to play all three courses or both courses, or maybe there's four courses, who the hell knows? If I want to play all of them one day, I will call them up and say, hey, I'm doing a review. I did not do this. As a matter of fact, they had no idea that I was reviewing. I did not let the cat out of the bag, even though I had my tripod on the first hole, told the ranger, whose name was Ed, that I was just doing a simple like swing analysis thing. And I think that's what I'm going to tell people from now on. But guys... You saw in the very beginning that, yeah, we had a lot of problems getting physically getting to the course, and we had a problem finding the first hole. And I think the only other problem that I had with this course is that a lot of the shots are blind, and I couldn't really tell where I was hitting the ball. Otherwise, I don't think I have anything bad to say about this place. This is to date the nicest golf course I've played. And I know that there are more and I know that there are better. And I, I will admit, I looked up after I had come up with my rating because once I come up with my rating, I don't change my mind. 
Uh, I, I really had to think about this one. I looked up the top 10 best golf courses in the state of Connecticut, all of which are private. I can't get on to them. So I think as far as a rating for the best public course, this place has to be in the top, I would say, 10, maybe even five. I don't know. I haven't been to the other high-ranked places that I saw on this list. Even though I do plan on playing one about two or three weeks out from, from the filming of this video. Let's, let's go over. From staff, which is a nine, okay? Scenery, which is going to get an eight. Layout, which is going to get an eight. Conditions, which is going to get an eight. A solid course, okay? Solid. Let's talk about the staff because they were the first people that I met and I only met one, two, three, four people and they were all fantastic. The guy, I don't remember what the guy's name was behind the, the, the counter, but he was very nice to everybody. He asked me if I needed anything before I went out to the course. Offered to uh, show me where all of the snacks were. I had a logo ball. He put, he, he rang it out and he was, you know, he was kind of like talking to me about when they got them in and how nice they look. He was great. Took my payment, got me out. No questions, okay? I did not mention that he, I was doing a golf course review, obviously, but this, this guy was just a very, very nice person. The starter, Ed. Great guy talking about, you know, because we were talking about how our swings, and because he asked me why I had my tripod. He's like, you're recording yourself playing? And I'm like, yeah, that's what I'm doing. He's like, oh. You know, in my older age, man, I wish I had the torque that some of these guys have. And he was talking about how uh, uh, the course leader, the, the, the person who holds the record for the course, I believe is Patrick Reed. And he was talking about how he got to meet him and how he's just a gigantic human being. And how a lot of the, the PGA uh, players have played on this course, which already gives it credibility. The second that I saw that he uh, he saw a couple of real PGA players there says something. Apparently they have done tournaments for the PGA at this place. Not like actual PGA tournaments, but like qualifying and like LPGA and uh, Connecticut uh, tournaments and stuff like that. And then we met Chuck, who was the ranger, who was just a funny guy. I mean, you could tell that him and Ed really like each other because they were bantering off of each other. And then the only other time that I saw him is when we were going around to, I believe it was the third hole, and then he had all these jugs of water. And we we're like, are you refilling those? He's like, yep. And I'm like, okay. And he was just really nice to us. Everybody was really nice to us and everybody just seemed to love their job. Which let me tell you something. That's one thing about a golf course that I, I noticed is if you have people there that don't play, they don't really like their job as much. These guys loved what, what they were doing. And it, I, I, you could just tell they have a good relationship with the people that go and play there. Okay, The cart girl, Ashley, was great. She was talking about how she's a teacher and how she, uh, you know, this is a little side hustle thing for her and how a couple of the other uh, cart girls and uh, other employees that work there also are in like college pursuing other careers and stuff. So it, it's just, you could just tell that they like each other. You could tell that they like being there and what a great environment that they provided. I have nothing bad to say about anybody there. And if the GM is watching this, dude, you've got a great, great set of people working for you. So the staff is going to get a nine. Hands down, one of the best staffs I have ever seen. The scenery, the course is beautiful, by the way, okay? I, mm, it's very rare that I'm left speechless by a hole. I was left speechless by a couple of holes. There were holes on this course that could easily be included in like a magazine or like a postcard or something. And I was kind of upset that I didn't get more drone footage because I wish I was able to fly down into the course itself. But one, the wind was getting a little heavy when I had the drone up and two, I didn't want to disturb anybody, which is why I don't usually go in like doing the sweeping, like 
lowered shots going towards the greens and all that unless i know that there's nobody else on the course man what a great atmosphere i mean every hole looks different first off the fairways are some of them are really wide some of them are really short some of them go from really wide to really short some of them go from really short to really wide some of the dog legs are really really sharp and then some of them are not so sharp and then the water placement and some of the bunker placement it's just every hole look different but they all look great and that's something that you don't really get too often i think the last time i saw that was uh oak actually because oak's got a lot of variety oak, oak hills park in norwalk they've got a lot of variety and they've got a lot of great scenic uh spots in in their course this one i think topped it when it comes to just the the, the overall beauty of some holes and the fact that like no matter where you look you're gonna get a, a really nice looking shot i mean we're talking to the point where even the the tea boxes were great which was you know a relief from last week the only problem i had is not all of them had trash cans and the ball washers did not have any liquid in them i actually refilled like two or three of them at one point um that's otherwise that's the only real complaint that i've got they're kept up they're nice and trimmed they're great the fairways are really, really nice. Even the rough is good. It's like, it's not really that tall, but it's not difficult to get out of. And it's no complaints. The approaches, oh, I was knocked over my drone box. The approaches were like green quality. Actually, they reminded me of Pequavik because they were very low trim. And then the greens were like, perfect not too fast not too slow you can actually read them i was able to figure out putts that i needed to make instead of having to guess because i couldn't figure out depth they are very hilly though it is a very hilly course so but with that that gives you a whole bunch of different uh scenic aspects to it too it's not just flat and boring it's actually it's got variety and it's really nice looking the Heck, even the signs on the tee boxes were really nice looking. So, I gotta give the scenery an 8. Uh, the layout's also gonna get an 8. I like how it's, uh, it reminds me of Oxford. Actually, Lawson said it best. It reminds us of a combination of Oxford and the player's course at Lyman Orchards. It is open. It's hilly. But there are some spots that are going through like a little like neighborhood type thing. And then there's other places where you're going up hills and through these little like valleys and all of that. And then the fescue on the side actually really reminded me of Lyman. And then there were some spots that reminded me of Whitney Farms going around houses and up and, uh, you know, having shots that are around buildings and stuff. And then you have other shots that are... Uh, uh very tricky because you have to place them on the correct side of the hill or else they're going to either bounce right back towards you or they're going to go bounce uh towards the hole and then you had to worry about you know ball positioning where you're going to put the ball onto another part of the uh part of of the, the the fairway because it gets really narrow and you have to worry about water and sand which by the way were all placed perfectly even though the sand i i, I will say it's probably because of the weather and because it rained but the sand was actually a little cakey but that's okay the actual layout of the holes were almost perfect every, like i said everything has variety every green is a different shape too i like that some of them are flat some of them are really hilly some of them uh kind of bank a little bit and you have to like worry about where you place your shot like where you're gonna hit it and i'm usually good at being able to figure that out i don't know why but i have this un uncanny ability to watch golf on tv and i could tell you where they're gonna miss the hole if they miss the hole but as far as like the the layout of like it was just it's so it's such a shame that my camera does not do this course justice when it comes to what it actually looks like. The ponds are in the right spots. They're in a good spot as far as, you know, what you have to avoid when you hit a shot. It also, they're also placed to where you could look at a green on one hole and it looks amazing with these fountains going on in the back. Or you've got these hilly, like the second hole. It's just, 
hilly and and because of the lines on the green from the mowers it gives like that professional look and i was i was amazed by that and then there were a couple of shots like the par four uh that drivable par four that i drove and almost like it was like that far away from eagle that was really nice looking because i mean granted it wasn't really that sunny out but that looked like a, it looked like something that you would see it like i don't know maybe not pebble but maybe like pinehurst or something like that no maybe not even pinehurst um but it looks like it would be something that you would see at a pro course like a pga managed course this place should be private that's that's all i'm saying it, it it's very it's maintained like it is a private course i like how the entire place has cart paths by the way the entire course cart paths on if not one side but both sides I like how you're going through the woods to get to some holes. I like how the board, it's a little bit like boardwalks that are like, you got to drive onto and around and through the woods and over some marshes and stuff. And it's just, I, I really liked it. I really, really liked it. It was so much variety. There were so many different aspects that they took into consideration when they were building this course, which by the way, it was built by Arnold Palmer and it was built in the land. So they actually used the area, the land itself to construct this course. They didn't dig it. They didn't, these aren't manufactured hills or the actual land. So that's even more impressive. And I mean, I, I'll admit I played better than I did ever. Two birdies in a row, dude. Two in a row. Almost three. But, I, you know, I messed up. The only thing I really had a problem with, like I said in the beginning of this uh, video, was the lack of variety when it came to the par threes. They're literally all the same length. They're within four yards, I think, of each other. They're all within the 150s, and they're all just straight on. Otherwise, there's a lot of blind shots, which I do have to warn you guys about. It is pretty difficult and there are a lot of dog legs so just be aware of that too but otherwise i can't i i can't say anything uh layout gets an eight course conditions are the same way it gets an eight because the, the course was in fantastic condition with the exception of the ball washers and the fact that some of the tea boxes were littered with teas but you can tell that people actually try to fix their their divots and all that stuff uh the greens fantastic the cups, fantastic. The bunkers, like I said, a little bit wet, a little cakey, but I'm pretty sure on a dry day, they probably play a lot better. And the only other thing that I, I didn't really like is that the positioning of the signs, all right? So they're all the way in the back, like by the black tees, like the, by the tips. So... They also don't have the layout of the hole. I like that. So that way you can look and see, okay, well, we're here. We got to hit towards, there's like a bunker over on this side. There's water up there. They don't do that. And the map on the scorecard, which, you know, this right here, which I took all my notes on. It's not really a map. It's, hold on, let me get this open. It's uh, just a scorecard, but with all of this right here, as you can see, I don't, I don't really, I don't keep score, you know, but that's, that's what you go off of. There's no yardage, no nothing like that. Kind of hard to tell. Otherwise, dude, I, the course is great. The fairways are great. The rough is great. They, they, as, as far as like the condition goes, they upkeep it. It, it. it should be a private course. It should be a private course. 9.1. We finally have a course in the nines. This is going to be a tough one to top, even though I think the course I'm playing in a couple of weeks might top it. I don't know yet, but I've been meaning to play this place for a couple of years. Finally got out there and I do not regret it. So guys, what else can I say? I'm Chris with CT Golf Reviews. If you like this video, go ahead, hit the like button, smash the bell, do all that stuff that these typical YouTubers tell you to do. And most importantly, I will see you guys on the next review.